Hi, I'm uh, so glad to see you on this tour today. I um, think it's a wonderful opportunity to get outside and get active and see some of the history that we have here in Concord as well. Um, I want to welcome you to Kimball Jenkins here. I am Althea Barton. I'm the Director of Outreach and Development at Kimball Jenkins. And, um, but I also want to welcome you to the Concord Historic District. Uh, the district is, um, stretches from here uh, to uh, the P Pierce Mance, the Franklin Pierce Mance, which I think you'll see later. In between that, there's a whole lot of amazing, amazing history, both of Concord and of our nation. So um, I hope you'll enjoy the tour. So Kimball Jenkins is a historic site and a school of art and we um, have this place, it's, it's all here for the community to enjoy um, and it's here because of Carolyn Jenkins. The Kimball family lived here on this site for six generations since before the American Revolution and uh, Carolyn was the last in the uh, in the long line of, of Kimball's. Her passion was the performing arts. When she came back here, when her parents were elderly, she came back to live here and take care of them. And um, uh, her father passed away. And then um, it was at the end of her life. She had cancer. She knew she was uh, close to the end. And she made the decision to give this place to the community, to leave an endowment, to have it taken care of. Um, and be preserved um, so that people could understand um, and appreciate the history not of, only of her family but of, um, of really of our country through this place. So now we're in the music room. Uh, this room was, uh, was one of the grander rooms in the house. Um, in fact, it was off limits to Carolyn Jenkins when she was little because there was so much valuable stuff in here they didn't want her to go break anything. Uh, there were beautiful um, vases and things along the mantles, uh, along the mantel, and um, in this corner there was a grand piano, a Steinway, um, uh, one of the prized possessions of the family. Um, in uh, the early days, in the 1870s into the 1900s, uh, the family had many, many music sessions here where they would sing and uh, perform, have performers coming in. The sounds of music would have come um, often from this room. Oh. This, the ceiling here is also gorgeous. Uh, it depicts the four seasons and it has gilt uh, gold parts. Um, someday we hope to restore the ceilings um, to their original, but they're all hand painted. Um, and these rooms all would have been wallpapered, of course. Now they're painted, uh, but they would have been covered in an appropriate wallpaper to match. So I would encourage you to make this a discovery tour, not just a history tour, but a discovery tour. So you might want to go and operate the shutters, which are beautiful, beautiful built-in shutters. You can't replicate this kind of thing anymore yeah. today. You have to very carefully open them. <laughs> you see we have plywood on the outside right now of this one because uh, we have a restoration project going on. Um, the shutters, every mantle in every room is different. The family chose every single detail from the little rosettes and little leaves and all the little um, uh, details in the woodwork to everything uh, along the, the fireplaces, the tiles and the metalwork. So please explore the room and enjoy. This would have been the, the front door. We don't have it open today because we're working on the porch and the porch has no floor right now. So we can't open it to go out that way. Uh, but this would have been the original front, wall, uh, front hallway and stairs going up. There's a little doorknob down there. <clears throat> That's a latch. These are latches. You pull this oh, down and it latch. unhooks oh. because you have to secure this door before you secure this door. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this light actually has an interesting feature. So you see now there are two bulbs on. Yeah. Now there are four. So it's oh, a kind of uh, old-fashioned yeah. dimmer. Yeah. <laughs> For 1882. Right. I mean, what, 1920s. The house was designed by um, Amos Porter Cutting and the firm of Cutting and Holman. Uh, Amos Porter Cutting was a carpenter 
and he, he um, taught himself architecture at night. Mm -hmm. Extraordinary. <laughs> and then he built this. He was famous around New England for building um, uh, churches. He did a lot of churches, a lot of town halls and public buildings. Oh. Um, he did only a few residential properties. Um, and then uh, once he had completed this one, he, um, he uh, went on to compete to uh, design the New Hampshire um, State Library. Yeah. Oh. And he won that commission and he designed that. And that's considered one of our most fantastic public buildings in Concord. Yeah. Welcome to the attic. As you can see, it's not like any other attic you've ever been in. You don't hit your head when you walk around. It <laughs> has high ceilings and it's really a spectacular place. Uh, um, we are undergoing a restoration of our roof um, and much of the exterior woodwork of the house. Um, this is long overdue, as you can tell from the uh, water damage that you can see um, under the under the uh, surface of the roof. Uh, we have scaffolding up on the house right now and we've been giving some roof tours so that people can actually get outside and experience what's out there. It's really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. In the attic right now you see the railings which are from the tops of the porches around the outside of the house. Um, these were these have been recently painted um, the bottom rails were in poor shape and had to be replaced, um, and soon they'll be um, put back out onto the roofs. Wow. So we have very highly skilled uh, specialists who are working on this project, um, trained in historic preservation techniques. Um, so it's, a, it's been a wonderful experience. And we have Mark Hopkins um, here painting. Mark is a, a 19th century building specialist um, and um, has been a consultant for Kimball Jenkins for many years. He actually knew Carolyn and um, his mother would bring him here to the music room to listen to people performing and yeah. learn about music. Great. So now we're in the carriage house at Kimball Jenkins. Uh, the carriage house was built around 1882, the same time as the main house. Um, it was originally built for carriages and horses. The horses would have been downstairs underneath and the carriage would have been up here. There was also um, sleeping quarters for the caretaker who, um, who watched over the place, a very important member of the extended family, Kimball family. Um, it was uh, changed a little bit um, around 1930 when the family got a Packard. So there used to be one large door for the carriage and they converted it to two um, smaller doors. Yeah. And then in the 80s it was um, um, updated so that we could have um, a gallery in here um, and we could have an event space for, for the place. Um, afterwards, we'll go into uh, the yellow building, we call it the yellow house, um, and that's where most of our studio spaces are. Um, and you can take classes here in watercolor, acrylics, oils, um, uh, printmaking. We have a beautiful um, uh, printing press from St. Paul's School uh, that they donated to us a few years ago. Um, and you can also take um, pottery classes in our uh, ceramic studio. So enjoy the space.
And here we are now in the yellow house. This is the house that you see from the highway as you're coming off on exit 15. Um, and it's, um, um, it's even older than the uh, main house. It um, originally was built around 1795 and then added on to through the years. Um, and um, it was built as the law offices of one of the Kimballs, Samuel Eyre Kimball. And it was used for um, office space uh, they had borders in here through the years, um, and it's kind of seen a lot of different uses. And now we use it as our studio space for our School of Art. Um, you're in the printmaking studio here. Um, we can also walk through the painting studio and other areas. Um, but it's a, it's a space of creativity. Um, it's a space where you can come and just forget about your cares, take an art class, um, and, um, and, and really get into a different zone, which of course is important for everybody's mental health and well-being at this time especially.